Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the Material UI chip and convert it to a vertical orientation. So specifically, I'm going to take from the docs, I'm going to take this example, um, specifically this one right here, and edit it in Code Sandbox and uh, just turn it vertical. So I've done a little bit of uh, setup already. So I have forked that sandbox and uh, just deleted code so far. Um, I changed, I added uh, a class container there instead of root. And then I've got this chip here with class name root. And other than that, I changed the label text to vertical. So um, this is really bare bones straight from that code sandbox fork, pretty much just deleted stuff. So uh, an interesting thing about the React chip component is if I want to make it vertically oriented, it's essentially completely just styling. So we'll be working in this root class here. And like I mentioned, that's this root class here on the chip component. So let's get to work with coding that out. It really won't take very long uh, since we're just in this root class and we'll target a few specific um, classes in the DOM and we'll look at DevTools to see those. Uh, but first things first on this root, we're gonna get display flex on here. And naturally we want the flex direction to be column now to get that vertical orientation. And I'm just going to go ahead and ha add a height of 100% on here so that any children components as they're pushing up or down to expand that parent component that will get those um, proper, will get plenty of space for them in the wrapper. So let's take a look at what we need to do here in the DOM what classes Material UI is adding to the chip, kind of behind the scenes. And when you're relatively uh, new to Material UI, it can really be a mystery of how to properly style these components, how to do the, how to target them to override, say, default styling. Uh, so this really might help you. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a chip or if it's a text box or, or a text field, I mean. Um, they all have the same fundamental API. So, we see our um, root here. We see our container class here, which, um, get this out of the way for the moment, that's here, that's this div right here. So inside of that, we see this div, so that must be the chip, kind of the wrapper on the chip that Material UI has generated. And we have our avatar class. We have this span, which has the text. And then we have the icon here. So what I'm interested in is really all three of these on the avatar and the icon, which is specifically called delete icon. What I'm going to do with those is I'm going to add, or I'm going to override the margin that's automatically getting set. So you can see this margin right, right here. And then on the vertical class, that will take a little bit more styling in order to just get um, vertical orientation to our text. Uh, remove the ellipsis that I think is on here by default. Yeah, text overflow ellipsis. A couple things like that. So here's what we care about. We care about this class, MUI avatar root, this class, MUI chip label, and this class, MUI chip dash delete icon. So let's get to work. I'll handle the margin on the avatar and the delete icon after we get that nice vertical orientation. So to properly target this, we target MUI chip dash label. So as a reminder, that is the wrapper around the text. Specifically, it was a span in DevTools. So let's talk about this uh, JSS syntax here. So we've got this space right here that uh, normal CSS rules that designates that we're targeting a child. And then the class was that MUI chip dash label, which we saw uh, in DevTools. That's all there is to it. So let's see what we want. Um, one thing I want is I want the width to be just a simple 12, 12 pixels. And the font size, we'll go ahead and set to 16. Let's get those out of the way. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure and have a break word on here so that it's willing to um, break the word vertically and uh, like stick the letters vertically one after another. So break word is not the default on word wrap. 
I think the default setting is just normal, is, is, um, if I remember correctly. So we've got that, but we don't really see much to it until we get uh, a couple more things on here. Let's do white space, normal. So there, um, and you can see that we've already got this orientation going now. Um, let's pull off this word wrap and just see what happens if I don't have that on there. So those two things in tandem are giving us this nice vertical orientation already. Uh, let's go ahead and get a text overflow of clip on there. And depending on your sizing, you may or may not need that, but I'm going to leave it on there just because it might be a helpful thing. Uh, and then just to make it nice, it's a little hard to tell, but it's actually left aligned right now. So let's get that text aligned. Of center on there. Be a slight shift. It was hard to see, but if you noticed that there's a slight shift there. So it looks a lot nicer now. So let's see. I think that's all we need for the moment on our MUI chip label. So that's the core of what this demo is about, but let's go ahead and get some margin, the proper margin that we care about on the avatar. And of course, casing matters. MUI avatar dash root. And I've done this a time or two, so I just have these memorized. So let's just say margin 4px and 0px. So that looks a lot better up there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and add in also the MUI chip delete icon. And um, thanks to Code Sandbox here for just killing my formatting right off the bat. But anyway, let's get some margin in there. It's really whatever you want. All at 8px and 0px. Pretty similar. Got a little more white space at the bottom this way than a 4px. Anyway, you may be wondering, as I was, why they call this delete icon when right now, for example, we've got a check. Or really, it can be whatever icon you want in there. Uh, I think it's because, well, often these chips get deleted by the user, and so it's often a delete icon in there. But, um, and you'll notice on delete, and we've got handle delete, even though it's not really a delete icon. Um, but that's how their API is set up, so that's also what gets generated there in the DevTools. So anyway, that's really all there was to it. Let's take a look one more time. There's that MUI chip delete icon and uh, MUI chip label, which was the first thing we targeted, and the MUI avatar dash root, which we targeted here. So with that said, uh, I hope that this demo, quick demo was helpful, but kind of cool to see how to vertically orient something. And even if you don't use material UI, it's really the same concept for vertical orientation um, in a homemade chip or um, one from any other library likely. So if this video was helpful, I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. Also in the uh, video details, there will be a link to uh, all the code for this, this code sandbox, but also um, uh, there's a link to an article which will have a link to this code sandbox, I should say. So uh, with that said, I hope you have a wonderful day.